BrainTech here, where tech is made simple. So a couple of days ago, I posted a video showing you how you could completely remove apps and programs on Windows 10 and Windows 11, which is something I do after every uninstall. And as I mentioned in that video, which will be linked down below and in the end screen once again, as part of this so-called system to completely remove apps and programs after an uninstall, we had to head to a file explorer, navigate to our C drive or your installation drive on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And if it wasn't done so already, we had to enable hidden items and then navigate to our users folder to your obviously your main user account folder. And here you'll see a folder called App Data. Now, if you're wondering what the app data is and what its function is, then I actually thought just to give a quick video on that. So if you're wondering about the purpose of this folder, then just a quick walkthrough if you would be interested because it's a hidden folder that's part of the system folders of Windows 10 and Windows 11. And it's actually quite an important folder with quite a lot going on. So first of all, the app data, which stands for application data, folder is a hidden folder that stores specific data for your, your apps such as the cache files, preferences, settings and other information so they can obviously function correctly. Now basically what this means it's the central location for apps to store and retrieve data without affecting the application core files and allows each user to configure and customize applications differently. So that's the overview of what the app data folder is all about. Now inside the app data folder, if we head into that, you will find three additional subfolders, including local, local low, and roaming, which we explored in that previous video, which mentioned will be linked down below and in the end screen. Now, first of all, focusing on the local folder. This is the folder where apps store data specific to the device that doesn't sync across computers, read the name local. So this is all taking place on your local device. Okay. So usually in this folder, apps save their configuration file and preferences. So as an example, in the local folder, you'll find the Microsoft folder, which is this folder. And if we click on that, we'll double click. It includes data from Microsoft Edge, Office, OneDrive, and a whole lot of other apps, as you can see. So as an example, here we can see Edge. Now, if you delete the Edge folder, this action will reset the browser completely. So that's just something as a side note, just to give you an example. Then moving on to some other apps in this folder, they may also use the folder to cache certain files to improve performance or store frequently accessed data. So the system and apps can also use the location to cache files temporarily. So that's all taking place in the local folder. Now heading out and back into the app data folder. And the next one in the app data folder is the local low folder. So if we head into that, this folder shares some similarities with the local folder but has a slightly different purpose. So apps primarily use it to store data that require lower privilege levels and are not very critical or are shared with other user profiles. So here we can see a lot less going on in the local low folder. And then heading back into the app data folder and then focusing on the third folder, which is the roaming folder. And this folder is another location for storing data, but it stores data that can be synchronized across multiple devices. Read the name roaming, okay? So this location stores more specific settings for each user. So as an example, this folder can contain application preferences, customizations, and other user data that should be consistent on each device that the user signs in. So here we can see HP, Microsoft, Mozilla, voice access, and so on, just as a couple of examples on this device. But something just to take note of, is while this folder is generally safe to explore, which is the app data folder containing local, local, low, and roaming, it is an important folder. So deleting files without understanding their purpose 
goes with, goes without saying can lead to unexpected problems and issues. So if you are, are unsure about the contents, it's recommended that you do not make any changes. But what I did in that video on how to completely remove apps and programs on Windows when you do an uninstall of a app or, or um, a program, those folders you do, do delete will be safe to do because I do that after every uninstall. But generally, if you don't know what's going on in the app data folder, I would just suggest leaving the contents alone. So I hope that just gives you a better understanding. It's one of those uh, system folders that's buried quite deep in the OS. It's actually hidden. So obviously, because of that, Microsoft doesn't want you to fiddle with that folder. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.